weeks about the coronavirus, our next guest is often up next to the microphone. Dr. Deborah Burks is a former colonel in the military. She worked at the Centers for Disease Control and is now leading the White House Coronavirus Task Force. So the White House called to see if we would like to interview her here in Texas, and we had some questions. They are many of the same ones you've been asking as well. Burks, thank you for the time. Let's start with the big question everyone has. How long is it going to take to get enough tests to physically test everyone who wants to get tested? You know, that's a great question. So as you know, um, we have had to convert all of our testing into these high throughput commercial platforms. Um, and I think that was really at the president's guidance, a real breakthrough to be able to test literally tens of thousands of people a day. Um, we're running about 60 to 70 thousand tests a day now. Um, if you remember, we were previously at about 500 to 1,000 tests a day. We understood the need and we've been working very hard to ensure that those commercial platforms are available. Currently, we have prioritized the test for the hospitals that really need early diagnosis of their patients. And so if you've done drive-throughs, um, you, you may be a delayed in getting your results. You said that anyone who leaves New York City should be quarantined for at least 14 days, but major airlines still fly in and out of New York City and fly back to major hubs like Dallas, Fort Worth, and like Houston's Intercontinental. Uh, do you think that passenger service to New York City should be canceled until this is over like it was to China and to Europe? I think every American is taking responsibility and understands that if they have been in an area where there's more transmission, you need to monitor yourself as well as protect others. And that was what that message was about. We know that people who transit through New York come in to deliver goods or come in for very specific time limited means and, and reasons that that is really, we're not doing any, saying any guidance about restricting that activity. Some states have enacted a statewide lockdown. I think the number is up to 21 as we record this right now. Texas has not. Instead, here in this state, they're handling it on a county by county basis. Should Texas reconsider that? So that's a really excellent question. I will tell you that is what we're looking at now at the direction of the president. We're looking at this in a state by state, county by county basis. And what do I mean by that? We're looking at the, the absolute number of cases. We're looking at the growth rate of new cases. And Texas is a big state. So Texas would have a great variability across the state. Where you often get into trouble are metro areas where people have been closer together or potentially through public transport and public transit systems, because we know the virus lives on metal and hard surfaces, people could have gotten incidentally exposed and there's much more transmission in what we believe in these highly urban areas. So the governor should be looking at their data every day that's coming in from all, you have amazing hospitals and scientists all across Texas. I've met many of them, they're brilliant. And I think you have testing available and using that successfully to be laser focused on what you need to do in each of the counties. Dr. Burks, I want to ask you one last question. What kind of projections have you seen as far as when COVID-19 might peak in the United States? What would that look like? When might that come? But we're encouraged by the curves of China, South Korea, and now some early evidence from Italy that they may in Italy themselves be able, with their strong mitigation efforts, to be able to see a change. But understand, it takes about two to three weeks to see the impact of your mitigation efforts because with cases that you see that come to the hospital, they were exposed probably two weeks or more ago. So that's why we're tracking this very carefully, both at the testing level and hospital mission level. All right, Dr. Burks, thanks for the time and stay healthy and good luck to you. Thank you. That $2 trillion relief.